Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the toning tool in Luminar AI and I'm going to show you how you can use it to work with the highlight and shadow areas of your image to add color. Well hello and welcome everyone to Luminar Coffee Break. I'm Angela Andrew and today's topic is how to work with the toning tool to man manipulate the colors in your image. The toning tool allows us to work with our highlight areas and shadow areas separately, and it's a great way to change the mood and the overall look and feel of your photos. I want to take a moment and say hello to Julie, Tom, Joseph, so glad you guys are able to join me today. Let's get started. So up on the screen I have a photo that I took several years ago in Rome. It's the city skyline, it was captured from the Castel Sant'Angelo, and it was with an older lower megapixel camera, so we're working with a JPEG. Um, what I want to do here is just kind of give it a little bit of ambiance of that feel of Rome, kind of how I remember the feel of being there. So I'm going to start by going to my scenery category, category here under my templates and using my fast fix. This is one of my favorite templates because it adds a nice pop of color and contrast and just overall improves the image. From there, I'm going to go over to the edit tab and we're going to go into our tools and scroll down to the toning tool. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the balance section here, and we're going to kind of take a look at what our options are. Hello, Jim. Glad you're able to be here today. All right. So the amount slider is exactly what you would think. It's the amount of the effect that we're going to apply. We have tabs here that will affect our shadows and our highlights separately. Our saturation is going to be the amount of color applied, and the hue is where we choose which color. And then balance is going to apply to do we want to weight that more towards our shadows, or do we want to weight it more towards our highlights? So I like to start with my highlights. And to begin, I'm gonna pull my saturation up pretty high. And then we'll start moving our hue slider along the spectrum to see what color we think works well with this image. And so working with those highlights, I often like to pick something kind of in those blue tones. But as you can see, it's really oversaturated. So that's where I'm gonna back off that saturation for our highlights to something that looks a little bit more natural. Now let's target our shadows. Again, I'm going to bring up the saturation pretty high so we can see the effect. And I do like the red tones that are in there, but we can always audition other colors by going up this hue slider. And you can see how it changes the look and feel of the photo, and it's targeting all of those shadow areas. So as I go along the spectrum, I'm actually kind of enjoying these um, kind of rich magentas and pinks over here. I think that looks really good. But again, the saturation is far too high. So I'm going to bring back that saturation, lower that back down to a, a more pleasant amount. I think right about there looks good. And now that we have our saturation and our hue set for both our shadows and our highlights, we can then adjust the balance. So we can weight that more towards what we chose for our shadows, or we can weight that more towards what we chose for our highlights. And you'll see how that's changed in the look and feel of the image. Most times I'm going to keep that right in the middle, but for today, I think I'm actually going to weight that a little bit more down towards our shadows and I really like that overall look and feel. So let's take a look here at the before and the after with the toning tool. You can see how it just changes the overall ambiance and mood of the image. Now to finish this image up, it is tilted a little bit to the left and that's bugging me. So I'm gonna scroll back up to our composition AI and I'm gonna move my mouse just outside of the image to get that double headed arrow and rotate this slightly to go ahead and straighten up that image. And I'm also going to go to my ratio and change this to a 16 by 9 because I think it works really well for this photo to turn it in to that kind of panoramic look right about there is awesome. I'll hit return on my keyboard to commit that crop. And there we have it. It's a really quick and easy edit. By combining that fast fix template, which is one of my absolute favorites, it works on so many different types of subjects. And then just giving it a slightly different mood, look and feel with that toning tool, we've made some pretty drastic changes here. So here's our before and our after. I hope you guys enjoyed this edit and taking a closer look at the toning tool. If you have any questions, make sure you pop them into the comments below. I'll do my best to get those answered for you. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you give us a thumbs up here on YouTube. We always love seeing that. And with that, I wanna wish you guys a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye everyone.